Hi, and welcome to another tutorial from Aladdin. Today we're going to show you the FlexLight 4, what is a 200 watt LED uh, light source, flexible light source. So, what comes in the kit? In the kit comes the panel, a long extension, short extension, the power supply, a diffuser, the dimmer unit and the disassembled frame. So what's the idea of the disassembled frame? That is when you want to travel small and lightweight. So you're probably going to end up rolling the panel into a smaller size so it fits together with the frame into a smaller case. But in most of the cases when you're like at home, in your city, traveling around, you want to leave the frame assembled onto the panel. So the panel is more protected and it's going to go much, much, much faster by setting up. So how do I start? So the, the um, disassembled frame comes with uh, two end parts, four tubes and the center part. So I'm going to start on, on one side. So actually I need to go on the edge and go with the little corners here on the neve the velcro on the edge. And then I'm going to take two rods put the center part start on the other side Do the same thing, go with the edges under the corners, on the edge. Put the rods in, keep a look that the, the screws are completely open, that you can go to the end of the frame. And then, assemble it. I usually start by screwing down the center port. Watch, watch, check again that you on all corners inside and then stretch it out. Stretch it out, screw down the, the edges so that it's nicely stretched on the frame. Tighten all the screws. There we go. Okay, in the center there's usually a velcro that also holds the panel on the frame. So now the, the panel holds solid on the frame. So now we have different features on this frame. So you see these little latches here, they um, hold the diffuser, what comes in the kit. So I could put um, the diffuser over the edge, sometimes it goes a little bit tight. So this one goes quite tight, so probably I'm stretched out a little bit too much. There we go. So now we have the diffuser on the panel. So why do we have these um, holders on the sides for the diffuser? That's to provide a little distance to the panel for the diffuser, that we have an even and soft light distribution. So an accessory for the frame, what I think is a quite interesting piece, it's the softbox. So, not only the diffuser, so we have this little rod that comes out to the edge and clicks in on the edge. So that's the holder for the softbox. So the softbox is same thing, diffuser and a fabric that goes around. So what I start from the back you have to go into the uh, underneath the velcro in the edges. So probably I'm gonna swing it around so I can show you how that goes underneath the velcro. There we go. 
So here we have this little Velcro where you have to put the diffuser on uh, the, um, the softbox frame underneath. And do this on all the four corners. There we go. Watch out that they in the hooks. So probably first you're going to put on the um, holders, then you have to put it in the little rods on the side. So it's holding tightly, then put the Velcro together on the back, Velcro it down to the, to the panel itself. So that you have as less speed light as possible. Just seeing that I lose the frame a little bit. So probably I'm gonna stretch the frame again. There we go. Nice and tight. Okay, so now we have a bigger and deeper surface. We got the nice silver reflection on the edge, what's going to provide us with a higher light output than only the diffuser. And put the big diffuser on the front, and as you see, the whole system gets a little bit bigger. When you look, that's the regular diffuser. So it's not quite, not twice the size, but quite not half size bigger. Also length, it's also longer, so it gives you a bigger light source and same time a better diffusion and probably more light output. So how do I gonna put the, um, the big two uh, Biflex 4 onto a tripod? So the main idea was on the back you only get this female a uh, stud adapter. So usually the idea of the inventor was that you go onto a grip head on a C stand and use a 16 stud to hold it on the grip head. So you get a free three dimensional way to position your light. So that's kind of the most professional way to set um, a light source onto a tripod. So that's a grip head. So on a C stand, so I have, um, I can position freely my light source. So also the nice thing about this softbox solution is uh, it's quite lightweight. So the softbox makes not a big uh, weight difference when you get like um, with very thick and heavy fabrics or even with uh, some plastic builds around. So you get a quite a heavy softbox. So how, how do I gonna set up now? I gonna run the blue plug to the black plug. Same thing on the dimmer unit, tuck. So why we have the power supply external, it's also a very important feature, feature because I would say 80% of the people they use, use it from battery. Uh, be careful what kind of battery you use with a 200 watt power light. You can run it from a standard 12 volt V mount battery, but it's probably going to break your battery faster because you have a too high power draw. So the idea was when you run it from the battery, you can take out the power supply to, to win weight. Also for traveling, so you don't need to, to carry this big power block with you. So if you want to use it in a location where you have um, the main powers, so we have this little attachment. So you can attach it to the back, plug it in on the bottom, and you can hang it to the stand and run it from uh, 90 to 260 volt. So wherever you're gonna be on this world, you're gonna be able to use our lights. There we go. So 
by, on the side of the power input DC in, so we have the XLR in and out. On the side, we have the uh, address for the DMX. Uh, we have a little on off switch. On the top, we have the dimmer and the color temperature. So I can freely dial in my color temperature. And yeah, a screw to mount it to the tripod. Yeah, that's about the, um, the Biflex 4. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, and follow us on uh, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. See you next time.